Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to the Haunted Mines. Today I'm playing a game with Tyrande, one of the heroes that I don't actually play too much myself, but a hero that is super popular currently in the competitive scene. She's one of the top picks right now. Uh, first talent I am going to be picking is definitely going to be the Ranger's Mark right here. Um, now, the reason why I don't really play her is because she's sort of like a jack-of-all-trades type character. Um, I generally speaking like to be either the healer or I like either, you know, being the damage dealer or the tank. I don't really like being a mix of them between, um, but that is exactly what Tyrande is. She can be very useful in healing as well. So, I mean, she can be uh, a very powerful healer, especially since the last patch. Um, the last patch did make her a lot more sustainable in that way. Um... But as it is right now, um, you know, she's definitely still a hero that can sort of do everything. And that's exactly what we're going to be playing her like. Even though I don't play her too much, she's extremely good. She's extremely, extremely powerful. Um, so what is this hero all about? Well, basically, we got on our trait, we got Hunter's Mark. And I can activate that on a hero. And I've actually picked my first talent to improve that. And what it does, it basically makes an enemy vulnerable. So that vulnerability means that it's going to be very powerful for us to... Um, Ooh, it's gonna be very powerful for us to um, to use that and actually nuke someone down. So, like, let's say um, I am in the middle of a team fight. I'm generally gonna try and you know get the low HP hero nuke down as quickly as possible, and that's exactly what that ability is all about. I'm gonna try and kill as many of these creep tumors as I can because they're everywhere. And what we are using for that is the lunar flare, and the lunar flare is my E ability. It's a skill shot, it's a stun, and it's extremely good. As you may have already guessed, like, if you manage to hit that stun, obviously people are not going to be able to move for a little while. Uh, making it so that everyone's going to be in a very nice place. If you manage to stun someone out, they're generally speaking going to fall. Now, they have uh, Muradin, Zeratul, Diablo, Zagara, and Tessadar, so they don't really have a dedicated support other than... Um, other than... Um, whew. Look how much damage, like, look how much damage you can take with that Hunter's Mark activated right there. He almost went down. Um, but anyways, um, they don't really have a dedicated support other than Thassadar right here, so that's something to remember. And um, luckily our team is doing very well in uh, killing all these uh, these little things as well. Okay, let's go into the mines. Immediately stunning him out, and he's going to be forced backwards. Hopefully we do stay together here for at least a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna walk here to the teammates. Uh, my Q ability, by the way, is just a straight-up heal. It's very, very nice. Um, it's not the most powerful heal, and you can use it on self, but basically what happens, the reason why it's nice is that if you activate it on an ally, you actually heal yourself up slightly as well. And he does end up falling right there. So that's stun right there. Um, you can basically keep stun locking someone over and over and over again. Looks like the team is actually moving together very well here in the mines. Very good. So once again, activating it. I'm gonna be going for the protective shield. You do run out of mana relatively quickly, but that just means that most of your abilities are gonna have to be picked, um, you know, smartly. And he is dead as well, so great. <clears throat> she works very well, as you can see as well, in combination with Nazebo. Now, normally you do see her in like double support comps. Um, So, like, she's, like, the second support together with, like, you know, any other healer, really. But, for example, on Uther. Um. <coughs> we should really just leave the mines, guys. Honestly. Yeah. <coughs> Let's just leave. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is not good. This is not good for us at all. <sighs> and sadly... You know, we did end up leaving, but um, it was a little bit too late for me. I tried backing out of there. Thought I was fine, but Zero Tool ended up killing me. Just leave, guys. Just please leave. Should be okay. Don't get overpowered. And you're going to be in a lot of trouble here. If we don't look at it, it's okay, though. Um, now, one thing to note about the W ability, which is the, um, the owl that I've been uh, shooting around as well, is that it gives a lot of vision, but mostly it just gives you a lot of sustain as well. Um, or not sustain, rather, but it gives you a bunch of damage as well. Uh, because, for example, you can use it behind the gate to pick someone off that is, uh, you know, relatively low, and you can use it, um, you know, to pick off someone on the other side of the map because it does fly pretty much anywhere. So right now we can get some vision of the core right there. You can see it on the minimap fly around as well. See, like, it's very good. Alright, so the golems are relatively even. They are slightly ahead right now in level, which is not what we're looking for. But we can definitely come back here. Just trying to kill those creep tumors because they're everywhere. 
always have to shoot him in the circle, obviously. And we're losing a bunch of experience in the bot line, so hopefully someone will end up going there. They're not level 7 yet, so they don't have that extra talent. We need someone in the bot line, though, ideally. Well, if we push really hard, I guess this is fine as well. Okay, nice stun. Oh, he jumped out of there just barely in time. He would have definitely fallen there. And Zagara does end up falling, so it's all good. For some reason, we don't have someone in the bot line. I am not really the hero to do that sort of stuff. Okay. Um, oh, I actually went the wrong click right there. I meant to be going for the Lunar Flare. Oh, well. I tried using my uh, my uh, one ability right there at the same time. Almost got him! Nice. <clears throat> now, I'm not really using my Hunter's Mark as effectively as I would like to here, and that's just me having a lack of practice with this hero. Rexor did go to the bottom lane right now, and we did catch up back in experience, so we're actually slightly ahead at this point. We can't even just continue pushing. I mean, if they're not gonna defend it, we can just continue onwards. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Let's just, let's just back. Get out of there, Zagara. You're gonna fall to, uh, to zero 2 if you're not careful. Ugh. Why did he not back? That is so unfortunate. We had a really nice push going right there, and then, you know, we call for backs. <laughs> but nobody actually backs. Very unfortunate. So once again, we lose two heroes. The same thing happened in the mine. Um, I guess they're not paying attention to the chat. Which is a little unfortunate, but... It's okay, it's okay. Once again, we're slightly behind in experience right now. Um, that means that they will likely hit level 10 before us, which is not really what we want, obviously, but... I guess it'll have to do. Where's that? Where's that tumor here? Nice. Okay. Looks like there's a bit of a fight going on here. My stun can be very good here. Alright. Let me grab that watchtower. Gotta go back to the bottom lane here. Oh, no, 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 no! Got him, got him, got him, got him! Sadly, not enough for a kill. Alright. Going back in right now. They are level 10. <clears throat> I'm gonna be going for the healing ult. Which is the Shadow Stalk. And I may very well have to activate it here if I'm not careful. Looks like we're okay. Healing her up as much as I can. There we go. Get him, get him, get him! Really? Loco, did you just walk around? Wow. That's really unfortunate. Well, I'm not gonna finish him off, I'm afraid. I actually could have killed him, I think. I probably could have killed him. Great moves, though, right there, by the team. Alright. Stay together, boys! Oh my god. No! Don't kill me! Oh, they're focusing me down so extremely hard, but I guess that was still okay though, because they spent a lot of time trying to nuke me down. And that Shadow Stalk healed up pretty much the entirety of the team there. Well, they may not be able to get him. That's fine. Oh no, oh no. Roll away, roll away, roll away, do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> Why are you not barrel rolling? Why would you not barrel roll? I guess it must have been on cooldown, just barely. Okay, still okay though. We're gonna be heading back towards the team fight right now. We're slightly ahead here. This is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. 
Even though we have gone down. Like, you can see, hero damage-wise, healing-wise, and everything, we're not really we're not really shining in anything in particular. Wow, I didn't notice that she was actually right there. Okay. So we have false that flying in, I suppose. Yep, there we go. Okay, just gonna focus on healing myself here for a bit as well. Where is he? I saw Tessadar here somewhere. Okay, I'm just gonna join up with the team. Probably smarter. Oh. Did get the stun once again, but not enough. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Guys! Why, why are you doing the boss? No! No! Okay, okay. I don't know if that was smart, guys. I'm not sure. There was a massive fight going on. Uh, I guess I should have joined up there as well. They didn't want to keep me in... Or me and... Uh, me and Falstead alive, sadly. Ugh. We have fallen a couple times too many here already. Not really happy about that. And Zaratul, or uh, Zagara wasn't even in that fight. Zagara was just chilling here in the bottom lane, doing way too much damage to us. Alright, we're gonna be going right here with the Shrink Ray. Ideally, we're gonna activate it on like a Tassadar or, um, you know, any of their damage dealers. We have a hard time here, cleaning up all of this creep as well. But we have a much bigger golem than theirs, so even though that happened, we're still in okay place here. He's definitely not gonna be able to keep a keep, or get a keep here. Obviously using the Hunter's Mark there. Okay. Gonna move around here. Nice. Very nice. <clears throat> well, we need to kill that first, I'm afraid, uh, Falstaff. Well, not if we have the, uh, the Gargantuum helping out right here as well. Beautiful moves here. Okay, we've cleaned up most of the creep as well. So, no more vision for them. <clears throat> Alright. Looks like we're gonna be pushing into top lane here. Vala is moving in. They're not level 16 yet, so we have a great move here. Just need to hit one stun. One stun is all we need. I don't have that much healing, I'm afraid. <laughs> Trying to do as much as I can. Oh no! <sighs> that was actually very, very, very annoying for us. We tried doing our very best there, but it seems like our damage is a little low for some reason, actually. No, it shouldn't be that low. But they managed to clean up the entirety of the team fight. Obviously, we don't really have much of a dedicated tank here. Um, I mean, we got Rexar, who is technically a warrior, but he doesn't really tank very much. He's been taking a lot of damage, actually, surprisingly enough in this game. But he's not actually, you know, a dedicated tank. Not like their Muradin and Diablo, for example. Or obviously, they have a lot more sustain um, than we do at this point. But it's definitely not over yet, though. It's definitely not over yet. We should definitely not go to the top line, though. Enter bot. I think that's gonna be our best move. Alright. 
We're gonna go here for the shooting flare. Uh, it deals extra damage when we hit it. Did I not mind up? Now the alt on uh, the alt cooldown is actually relatively low. We can use it quite often. We can use it like every time we're grouped up in a team. Okay. They're not at the boss yet. Okay, okay, okay. Now, actually, Diablo is already back up, obviously. <laughs> he does get all of the soul stones. Not a big fan of you moving, sir! Last second shielding. And Victor is gonna end up falling because of that as well. Very good. You're so extremely risky when you're walking, uh, uh, Nazivo. You're super scary there. At least we don't really die ourselves very quickly at all, unless they nuke us down. Alright, so once again, we got a slightly bigger one. Uh, Zagara is still in the bottom lane, but hasn't quite been able to kill that keep. Okay, if I hit a stun here, she'll be dead. But she's gonna get out. Okay. Well, I don't know if I should be dedicated to cleaning up these things, but I guess it works. We actually we actually do a pretty moderate amount of damage at this point. Especially at like medium to long range, obviously. Certainly we can't heal up towers or anything like that. No, don't get the core, please. Or uh, the keep. Please don't do this, please don't do this! No. Ooh, so close! Oh no! That sucks. That sucks a lot. We're getting there. Trying to see if anyone is in the bottom lane right now. Not getting too much right there. But it's okay. It's okay. This game has actually been going on for quite some time already. Generally speaking, especially in the Haunted Mines, the games seem to end relatively early. Okay. Just kill the creep tumor right there. Ooh. Trying to hit the stuns there to the best I can, but obviously I'm gonna have to walk with. Oh my god. That is a huge pickup for us. And he does end up falling there. Activating the Shadow Stalk immediately. Stun, stun, stun. Nice. Great. All of a sudden, this fight is going completely in our favor. Nice mole right there, though. Obviously, removing a bunch of us, but. Mounting up, mounting up. Walking around here. Wow. Should have refueled him first. Alright. All in all, this is a great fight for us, though. My ult is once again up in 12 seconds. Wow. Ha! <laughs> He's actually gonna go for the... For the, uh... Safety right there of the... Falling down. What's it called? Vain death is what it's called. Alright. So we did, did manage to kill two of them once again, and this mines is gonna be huge for us. At least it should be. Alright. I'm gonna be going here with Rewind. Giving me more heals. 
More owls, more stuns, more everything. As you can see though, that, that actually does a, a whole bunch right now. It does a lot. Push top. I think we can end. I think we can end here. Core will be saved by itself. Well, unless Zero Two is here and being annoying. Oh, actually, well, never mind. If they're gonna do it like this, they're in trouble. Okay. Well, we're not going core, apparently. Okay, here we go. Get him, get him, get him! That's huge. Oh, we're not <laughs> we're not gonna end the game instead. Oh, I guess if we're here anyway, we may as well kill this real quick. Here we go. Well, we're fine there, we're fine. Kill, kill, core man! This is fine. Okay. Later our team is moving in. Ugh, oh, beautiful mole once again. I don't think Vala should have gone back there. We're missing out so much damage now. Yeah, I think we could have finished the game, honestly. I'm pretty convinced we could have finished the game. Ugh. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Look at how much damage this is still gonna be able to do. Ah oh, man, we didn't need we didn't need the entire team home to uh, to try and kill the uh, the one golem and Diablo that was there. The core would have done just fine by itself. Oh well, we give them another chance to come back now. Not great for us. I guess Tessadar is doing quite a bunch of shielding here as well. Yeah, the golems have fallen right now. But this is unfortunate. If they get a bigger mind right now, we actually end up losing this game. If they get a bigger mind right now, they will actually be able to kill it, I think, in time. Unless we all defend, I suppose. But uh, I'm convinced that if Vala would have come top with us, we would have been able to finish the game right there. I don't think even Diablo really needed to be there, honestly. Like, Diablo and, and the, the Zero Skull Golem were not gonna do all too much to our core. I think we could have just gone all top, but... Fair enough. After Zeratul died, for sure, actually, yeah. But whatever. Fair enough. We should be able to, uh, to still be okay here. <clears throat> Alright. We need to move together, though. Zeratul can do too much damage right now. They're actually already setting up in mines. Why? Ugh. Oh my god, no way. They're actually doing so much damage to us. Zeratu or uh, what's his name? Diablo is still alive. Oh, get him! Get him! Get him! Gargantrum, get him! Misha! Misha, get him! <laughs> Misha, get him! Misha! Use any of your abilities, Misha! No! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. They may actually be able to finish the game right now. Sagama's ready to go. Nah, they're too low in health. I don't think they are able to here. Well, Muradin's moving still in as well. 30 seconds is what they got. 30 seconds. Oh, don't do this to me. We were so... We were doing so well. Do not do this to me, game. No, I no. they will be able to finish the game. They will be able to finish the game. That is so unfortunate. We had such a great moment right there to win the game. Oh, well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit the like button. If you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I will see you in the next one. Well.